Hello, hello, hello. You're tuning into the episode of The Wonder King Show. Today's second topic is Derrick Henry and Lamar Jackson. Could they be the greatest backfield in NFL history? Look, so you guys know who Kate Adams is, right? She has a show called Up and Adams. And this was a topic that came up today. Now, look, y'all know how I get down. I was one of the um, main people screaming, banging the table, asking the Lord Jesus Christ himself for Derrick Henry on this team. (laughs) And I told y'all why. But I'm going to let somebody else on Kay Adams' show break it down because he seemed to think the same thing that I think. So without further ado, let's play this clip. You're going to hear the audio. And then we're going to break it down even further, all right? So let's get this party started. Derrick Henry um, is signing with the Ravens. Same backfield as Lamar Jackson, of course. This is like a very exciting move that we haven't really dug into this offseason. I know you want to talk about it. People on Twitter are saying, you know, to me, this isn't the best fit. What are you talking about? That sounds ridiculous. What do you make of the fit of Henry to Baltimore? I mean, I also think that's ridiculous. There are people saying he won't be as effective running from shotgun or in his own read type scheme. But I would point to the two games he played with Malik Willis in 2022, oh. where the Titans ran a bunch of zone reads. And Derrick Henry averaged 167 yards per game, seven yards per carry, and scored four touchdowns. Uh, it's going to create the ultimate pick your poison for defenses with him and Lamar back there. Let's hit the tape and check some of this out. Uh, I'm going to the Kansas City game. Henry had 200 yards against the Texans the week before, so the Chiefs said, you know, forget Malik Willis and these owners. We need to take care of Derrick Henry first. You see it there. They're peeking inside. Malik sees that. He's going to pull it, get out into space, and there's no new account for him. Obviously, that's Lamar. No offense to Malik, but Lamar is another level of athlete out there. Exactly. We can see some big plays happen in there if you want to take away Derrick Henry. But the way teams typically defend Lamar... You see the zone read here, Miles Murphy on the edge is the unblocked guy. The way teams typically defend him, you have to keep contained. You see Murphy throttling down here, yep. forcing Lamar to give it. But even with Lamar's carry out, Murphy's not going to let him get outside. Lamar doesn't have the ball, Keaton Mitchell does. And you see the cutback lane that's created because of the attention you have to pay to Lamar in these zone replays. Exactly. Huge game for Mitchell. Imagine Derrick Henry with that type of a hole. And then even on plays that are gives... This might be a read for Lamar. It might be a good counter to Melvin Gordon here. They teach you, Crazy. hey, follow the puller. The ball is going to follow the puller. You'll get there. But Zadarius Smith, because it's Lamar back there, has to take a wide angle, has to keep contain. And you'll see what happens as this play is out. Both Miles Garrett and Zadarius Smith are so far upfield because of Lamar. They're past the ball carrier already. Melvin Gordon's out in space picking up 30 yards here. And that's Melvin Again, Gordon. If you get these type of numbers advantages for Derrick Henry... It's, it's a problem. It is the ultimate pick your poison. And it puts you in a bind personnel-wise, too. Because if you want to stack the box to try to take away Derrick Henry, the Ravens have so yeah. much athleticism on the outside with, with likely with Mark Andrews. Exactly! My only concern, it has nothing to do with scheme or fit. It's just Derrick Henry's had a lot of carries over the years. He's 30 years old. But if he's even 80% of the Derrick Henry that we know and love, this, could, this is the best backfield tandem, the most difficult defend to defend backfield him we've ever seen in this league. Ever seen in this league? I I really do think so. This is as special as it gets if Henry is still Derrick Henry. What did I try to tell y'all? Finish him, daddy. (laughs) Listen, y'all, I want y'all to understand something because I've been saying this so much and a lot of times what I say gets launched in translation because we have fun on the channel. So some of the things I, I say go straight over the head. Derrick Henry has been the focal point of his offense. The defense was going in with the game plan of literally and singularly stopping him. It was pretty much the same thing that was happening to Christian McCaffrey on the Panthers. You understand? Everybody, first, second, and third, stop Derrick Henry. Throw everything you can at him. There's games where the defense will play literally one one high or, or, or zero coverage all game 
because you had to do whatever it could to stop Henry. You would live with trying to take jump balls to the outside of wide receivers because Derrick Henry was literally going for 250, almost 260 yards on people. Four touchdowns. The man ran for 2,000 yards and was on pace to do it again. And not in a 17-game um, uh, 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 year, a 16-game year. You know, like I said before, <clears throat> with, the, with the problems that Lamar Jackson causes with the give and his ability to be able to pull in the RPO game, and then you have to look and take into consideration that you have Zay Flowers on the outside, Bateman on the outside, Isaiah Likely is there, Mark Andrews is there, my God! It's going to be pandemonium. You're not, listen, there, it's a numbers game. There's just not enough. Unless you want, the only thing that I can see slowing down the Ravens is either injury or stupidity. That is it. <laughs> and we've already seen them go full, like, you know, uh, uh, foolishness in the playoff game. But those are the only two things I can see that can slow them down. What do you do? Oh, Derrick Henry is literally just picking up six, seven, ten, six, seven, ten. And then when you finally think, all right, we're going to stop. We're putting everything to stop him on this ten-yard gig. Lamar takes it up the thing and goes for 30. Like, come on now, bro. And then you're like, okay, everybody to the middle of the field. Oh, I forgot he has Zay Flowers out there. Oh, I forgot he has Bateman out there. Oh, I forgot he has Isaiah Likely out there. Oh, I big time forgot they still got Mark Andrews out there. Like, come on now, bro. It's absolutely just, bro. It, as a Ravens fan, we are going to be sitting there at the altar of Baltimore screaming. Hallelujah. Scream it! <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Listen, I know how y'all get. And I know what y'all think. Y'all like, oh, Nitro, you're just on this level of, oh, nothing bad can happen. I'm not saying that. What I'm coming to tell you is that football is a numbers game. The two things you'll learn in football more than anything, it's a numbers game and a game of angles, or, or some might say a game of inches. You understand where I'm coming from? So <clears throat> if you have numbers, if you can always create a numbers mismatch, you're always going to be in a positive forefront in football. Because you got to understand, defense and offense, defense was always afforded pretty much because a quarterback was always made, for the most part, Moving forward, when the forward pass became what it was, it was made that the defense would have plus one. So you would have one plus one. So because the quarterback wasn't in like offensive play, he's only there to divvy out the ball. So the defense would always have plus one. But when you always hear the notion when Lamar has the ball, it's eleven on eleven football. That's because his ability to run the ball now, that extra man has to be able to cover him. And sometimes it ends up happening with a quarterback that's as, as dynamic as Lamar Jackson. Two eyes, maybe three eyes might be on him at one time. And because of that, that means somebody else is left wide open. What, can you imagine Derrick Henry in the wide open space of a field? Stiff arm, stiff arm, stiff arm, stiff arm. Move out the way, move out the way. Cookies, cookies, Debo, Debo. Chain stature, chain stature. That's all you're going to get. That's all you're going to get. You're just going to get him stiff arming people into their grandmothers. And people being like, oh, why? Why did the NFL allow this? Why? And then everyone's going to be, oh, dad, uh, this, this is too easy. This is cheap. I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all. Because Derrick Henry won't have all his eyes on him. It's not like if he goes to the Baltimore, oh, we're putting everything to stop Derrick Henry. You got so many weapons, including and not officially named Lamar Jackson also. Because he's the quarterback. You're not even naming him as a weapon. But he is a weapon. Bro. I'm telling y'all, man. I'm telling y'all. Y'all y'all be sleeping on the stuff I be saying. But y'all going to learn. Y'all going to learn. But what do you guys think? Do you think that this could make, that has the potential to be the greatest backfield in NFL history? And if so, what do you think their numbers could be or will be moving forward? Are we going to see a year where Lamar only rushes for 500, but Derrick Henry runs for 18? Or Lamar might run for seven or 800, and Derrick Henry could run for 1,700? Let me know what y'all think down in the comments section because that's all I want to know. What do you think the numbers would be then? Because remember, the, the, the Ravens own almost all the rushing uh, records and stuff like that. But like I said, let me know what you think, all right? 
But as always, this is an episode of the Wonderkind Show. Thank you for watching. Y'all know how we get down. We have fun and we laugh. But everything we talk about rooted in what? Facts and truth. Please do remember, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. You know I love the comments. And if you have not done so already, check out the Wonder Kid Show's Patreon. Yes, three tiers of content goodness when for your consumption. Give it a look. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. And if you'd like to donate to the channel, help out with equipment, you don't know how much it helps out this channel when you guys donate. That's literally how we keep going and keep everything moving. Bottom of the screen, QR code. QR codes to a cash app. The cash app is located in the description of every video that we do. And the name of it is Money Sign, The Wonderkin Show. Super easy. But once again, this is The Wonderkin Show. This is your host, Dr. Signing Off. And as always, you know my slogan. Peace. And I am out of here, huh? Yep. Finish him, Daddy. Oh, oh.